As solid-state drives have decreased in price over the last couple of years, more and more gamers are switching from traditional hard drives to SSDs in order to store their favorite games. However, there seems to be some confusion about whether or not choosing an SSD over a hard drive will have an impact on your in-game performance. So, in this video, we're going to show how SSDs and HDD stack up against each other in terms of gaming performance and whether or not an SSD will give you a better in-game experience. SSDs don't deliver higher frame rate. There are a lot of performance advantages of choosing an SSD over a traditional mechanical hard drive. The faster read and write times of an SSD help it load large files faster. Also, cut down the boot times into both your operating system and the programs and applications on your computer. However, in terms of in-game performance, an SSD will not provide any kind of significant performance advantage. In the testing that I've done and of the benchmarks that I've seen, the results show that the difference between a solid-state drive and a hard drive in games is negligible. The reality is that games that are installed on an SSD will not deliver you more frames per second than if those games were installed on a hard drive, all other things equal. So, if you have an aging gaming PC, and you were planning on upgrading to an SSD because you thought that might help you run your games at a more acceptable frame rate, you'd be better off using the money you were going to spend on an SSD too. First, get a newer graphics card, and then, Upgrade your CPU and RAM. Where SSDs can help, although an SSD isn't going to give you a higher frame rate in your favorite games, it will offer gamers an advantage over traditional hard drives. And it is in boot times. Games that are installed on an SSD will typically boot faster than games that are installed on a traditional hard drive. This boot time will vary from PC to PC and game to game. But in some instances, booting a game from an SSD can take less than half the time it would take to boot it from a hard drive. Also, Load times to go from a game's menu into the game itself are faster when the game is installed on an SSD than when it installed on a hard drive. The load times from a menu into a game are not as significant as the difference between SSDs and HDD in game boot times. But there is a small advantage for SSDs there. SSDs and HDD did not as great a pair as it once was. In the past, the common strategy for PC builders looking to maximize their storage capacity and storage speed was to choose a smaller SSD to hold their more important files and applications, and to choose a larger mechanical hard drive to hold the bulk of their files. And, while this strategy is certainly still viable, with SSD prices continually dropping, in relation to traditional HDD, it makes more sense to just start out with one large SSD. One TB SATA SSDs can be purchased for as low as for most gamers that should be plenty of storage space in the short term. However, if you're someone who requires a ton of storage space, pairing an SSD with a larger HDD is still an excellent op. You can get mechanical hard drives with capacities all the way up to 18 TB, 20 TB. If paired with a 1 TB or 2 TB SSD, a secondary hard drive could be a great way for content or video creators or anyone else dealing with a large amount of files to ensure they have plenty of should you put your games on your SSD or H? One common question that gamers who have both an SSD and an HDD ask is whether or not they should install their games on their SSD. And the answer to that question is it depends. Games that are installed on your SSD will load quicker than they will if they were installed on your HDD. And so, there is an advantage to installing your games on your SSD instead of on your HDD. So, as long as you have enough storage space available, it definitely makes sense to install your games on an SSD. If you're working with a limited amount of storage on your SSD, the best way to approach it would be to prioritize your most played games and use programs and install those on your SSD and then put everything else on your secondary hard drive. Overview If you're looking to build a budget-friendly gaming computer, or you want to upgrade your existing system to improve the performance you're getting in games, choosing an SSD won't boost your average frame rate. However, with the prices of SSDs continually dropping in relation to mechanical hard drives, it is hard to recommend even gamers with a low budget to opt for a hard drive over an SSD. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.